Welcome, I'm Dave of Urban Astro, and today I'm going to open up the Pegasus Astro Power Box Advanced Generation 2. Okay, uh, I do a lot of Pegasus Astro stuff. I find that their stuff is generally pretty decent. I have a Falcon Rotator from Pegasus Astro. I have two other power boxes and I have a power box advanced which is the original version and this one here is a second generation without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead and open this thing up and let's see what's inside put the cover down here so you can see so first thing is ultimate power box version 2 Okay, it goes over the different pieces of hardware that they have. As you can see, there's like flat masters and um, there's the Uranus Metro station, which I have. And there's a dew master, which these things come with built-in uh, dew heaters. Uh, there's focusers, focus cubes. There's all kinds of stuff that Pegasus Astro puts together. And here, without further ado, is the device itself. So this <clears throat> is the Pegasus Pocket Power Advanced Box Generation 2. And what this guy has, of course, is 12 volts DC input, which is right here, and it's got an Ad, um, adjunct out or um, it's really kind of an auxiliary device so anyways it's 12 volts DC in there are two channels here for dew heaters dew heater A and dew heater B and then there are four 12 volt output again it's the 2.5 by 5 and there's four here for that oh here's the external this is where the um, sensor temperature sensor goes so going around to the other side so we got the external there which is really for the temperature sensor and then we have USBs and we have USB 1 2 3 and 4 and then this USB port here goes to the PC it's metal it's very it's lightweight but it's very heavy duty you're not going to easily crush this box uh, you could drop it and Really, it may get a scratch, or, but it's not really going to dent. It's pretty solidly built. It's a fairly nifty little device. So that's the Power Box Advanced. Also inside the box, remove that packaging. We have the temperature sensor. Yay! If you don't have any other device with a temperature sensor then this definitely can be used and usually I just velcro these somewhere nearby and again it goes into the EXT external and you just put this thing somewhere nearby uh, I usually tend to velcro it and it will provide temperature and humidity updates to the device and it's used, it's used basically for the dew heaters to understand because the dew heaters, you can put them on auto. And so based upon what the dew point and the temperature is, it can adjust the dew heaters accordingly. And I find that to be a really nice feature. Now I live in Arizona, I don't use dew heaters that much, but this year for the first time I found myself having to use dew heaters so definitely temperature sensor is a very important addition to the Astro Pegasus um, or Pegasus Astro uh, pocket power fans and then we get some power cords here we got two of them that come with a box these are short and sweet we have a huge USB cable. Um, 
I usually will end up with a smaller one. In fact, I'll go online and I'll order some from Amazon that are probably like six inches long. This goes basically from the USB out into your PC. I often use a little mini PC. In fact, I'll usually just stack them one on top of the other. Or I might stack them like that. But anyway, these guys get stacked together and I don't see any need to have a huge USB cable going from this guy to this guy because they're so close together. So I'll, I will order from Amazon a much, much smaller cable than this. And then there are some additional power cables. There is two more sets. So there's two sets here which are very, very short. These are pretty small. They're about maybe a foot and a half long. These ones. And these ones are just a tad bit longer. I believe that these ones are like two and a half feet or close to three feet. Yeah, these are like three feet. So these ones are much longer, especially for those um, that have really long reaches to go then these are useful and that's pretty much what comes in the box it's not very much but um, it runs generally pretty good it uses the new Pegasus Astro Unity platform so there is no device driver per se. You download the Unity platform and the Unity platform gives you all kinds of stats and stuff about your device, about what it's doing and what kind of power draw that there is. And I find it to be very, very helpful. I'll show a picture here and I'll probably just kind of go through what the Unity platform looks like. The only issue that I have with the Unity platform is that Pegasus Astro often updates it pretty frequently right now. And so it seems like every time that they update it, sometimes they solve some problems only to introduce other problems. So that's the only concern that I have with the Pegasus system right now is the Unity driver and how that works. But generally speaking, it's a nice power box. It enables you to really excel in your cable management and makes really cabling up and managing power to all of your devices fairly simple. So Pegasus Astro Power Box Advanced Generation 2.